Hello everyone, I just want to give a quick guide on how to record Runelight, or any game for that matter, in 1440p. Um, it's really simple, uh, so we're just going to head over to our OBS. Currently we just have Runelight captured. Um, as you notice, I don't play on quite fixed. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit, little bit of a change, but um, you can kind of just make it fit once you select this. But uh, you go to settings, and then we'll start with the output settings, and then we'll go to recording. I have it going to an external hard drive. These files are big. You're going to want something to have a lot of storage. So I have an external hard drive with a lot of storage on it. Uh, with that, we are using the GPU encoder here and we're saving as MP4s. And moving down, the uh, rate control is CBR. That means we just want it consistent. So at 24,000 bit rate, so this is what you want for 60 FPS at 4K. And we're keeping that consistent. And then preset max quality, profile high, and then GPU zero, and then two for that last one. This is just basically making sure that my GPU is doing the heavy lifting here. And then video settings. This is the one that will probably trip people up. Um, if you actually scroll down in here, it doesn't give you the option for 2560 by 1440, but you can manually type it in. So you just copy that for both of them, and then you make it 60 FPS. Um, so I'm not going to hit apply here, but basically, and uh, that's pretty much it. And then going back to, I guess, the audio settings here. Um, I have the audio bitrate turned up as well, just because, you know, I want to make it sound a little bit better. And then for replay buffer, I have it at 60 seconds. So this is just for recording clips if I can catch the last minute of gameplay. So if I want to catch a drop or something, uh, I do it like that. And then once you apply that, I'm not going to save here. You have your rune light in 4k. So, um, yeah, it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But this was just a quick guide on how to how to change your OBS settings to uh, do so.